Hey guys, first off I want to say thanks to Autoflight Logic for this software. Without them this would not be possible. I just want to get up in the air here with the Inspire and just give you a quick overview of the software program and just show you some of the functions that are built in here. So first off, going into Autopilot here, uh, and see that I've already been in here, but I want to show you the orbit mode. That's a pretty cool mode if you want to circle around something and just get a, just a, a good view around a, an entire object. Now I've already been up in the air, uh, so I'm just going to use my previous settings here. But uh, you see as this engages, off to the side here, I've got uh, 73 feet in altitude and 156 foot on my distance away. Uh, and I've set this to the controller where I'm standing here by my car. Uh, now you can control these, you can, you can actually change the sliders as you're flying and, uh, and have it move with you. You can also change the speed. Uh, from slow to fast, you see that slider bar there is how fast uh, you want this to circle. I'm just going to complete the rotation here just to give you an idea as to how this works. Now I know that some of you have said that you can actually fly a better circle than this and I agree I've seen that as well. Uh, but for simplistic reasons obviously this is very simple just to set a, a point of interest and have it fly around uh, on its own. Very very cool. All right, so we're gonna finish up with that. And what I'd like to show you next is actually a follow mode. Now I know I showed this on another video, uh, but I wanted to redeem myself a little bit as that was the first try. So here you see I'm changing to about 150 feet. And uh, thanks Steve for the shout out. If I ever get famous and rich, uh, you'll you'll uh, see that as your, uh, your chance to get famous there as well. It's 150 foot uh, distance, 150 foot basically uh, way there. Now I've changed this also to a course heading instead of a north uh, point heading, which I'll uh, show you here in just a bit. But uh, there was actually some people coming down the road. I didn't want to fly up in front of them here, so I paused for just a second. But uh, here I'm going to get the Inspire turned on. There it goes through its little dance. And I'm sure that some of you will probably want to comment here, but uh, five satellites and I'm taking off. I know that's probably not the safest thing to do, but neither is flying with beta software. So here I'm getting up in the air, and we'll just get up here in, uh, into position a bit. All right, so I'm about 200 feet in the air here, a little farther up than what I was gonna go. And then I'll uh, hit the start sequence. Uh, to engage this here and then I'm going to jump in my car and uh, drive down the road here to show you what this will do. Now you'll see there when you try to initialize it the remote does have to be switched to the F mode uh, which does disable you have to disable your IOC settings. Just quickly jump through there uh, you see that, I, that you've got some settings there as far as picking uh, GPS uh, where you took off from. Now with the iPhone 6 and the iPad Air 2, the, there is a, a barometric pressure sensor, which is obviously the best to use as far as getting that start point. And you'll set that while your, uh, your craft is right next to your, your device before you actually get up in the air. I've done this two or three times now and forgot to set that uh, until I was up in the air and had to bring it back down. So it's gonna take some getting used to for sure. So here we head down the road. See that it's doing a pretty good job following me down the road. Now one thing you will notice, and you would have noticed this in the other video as well, in the uh, picture and picture in the corner there, you see that there's some lag. Now, I did notice some lag on the device itself, but most of this was from using the Xiao TV app to record as it was also recording. I don't know if it's just a, a problem. I am using an iPad Air, not an iPad Air 2 here. Uh, and it may just be an issue with the device itself, uh, but it did lag quite a bit behind on the video. When I'm sitting still and filming, I don't notice an issue, but anytime there's a, a lot of quick movement, I do see a lot of lag there. And, and as a side note, even when I'm not recording, I do see a lot more lag there uh, and delay than certainly what's in the, the DJI uh, Pilot app. You want to just watch here for a minute as I get up to the corner. I did think this was uh, kind of interesting. 
as I take this uh, right hand turn coming up here. Uh, it's pretty interesting the way that the software decided to film me going around this corner. This is where I did want to see what the what this would do and uh, it did react a little different than I was expecting. You see it makes a complete 360 around the car there. But one of the interesting pieces there is it does not lose me. It does not lose the view there. Until right there as it does go out for just a second and then comes right back into view as it falls back in behind me. Still pretty amazing to think though as far as uh, where the software is at this point and of course where it's headed. As obviously uh, with future updates and with uh, other people uh, testing out, I'm sure we're going to get some pretty cool things here. So I am going to pull over here on the side of the road and you'll see that it does take the software just a second to catch up with my position there as it was anticipating me going uh, down the road. Now just as a note here as well, I was driving at 40 miles an hour uh, down this road so it did a pretty good job of, of keeping me in focus there. So I'm going to turn off the, uh, the flight here, I'm just going to disengage that and go back to the software mode and uh, show you those settings there one more time. And that's going to be a wrap on this video. Like and comment below if you like this video. Certainly I do plan to add some more as uh, time goes on. I am excited to try this. I did play around with the zipline mode today. Uh, I will try and get that posted tomorrow as well. Uh, pretty cool uh, video there as well and uh, show you some of those functions. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to try out anything in the software that, uh, that you see or have interest here and, and post it on here for you guys. Thanks for watching.